Sleeping sounds is extremely common and usually disruptive for sleeping partners. We will cover most common causes of sleeping sound. Snoring is most important here. 40% of men and 24% of women are affected by snoring. Snoring is caused by relaxation of tongue. Tongue is huge muscle in our oral cavity. And relaxation of soft palate is also important. And relaxation of posterior wall of uh, parings is important and their action during sleep especially deep sleep or REM sleep which they are sleep paces and these two sleep pace their relaxation is common and eventually they cause narrowed airways in narrowed airways airflow is turbulent and turbul this turbulent airflow we hear as a snoring Sleeping on flat also helps uh, snoring and it's also risk factor. Other risk factors include being overweight, aging, being male because in male uh, snoring is more common. Alcohol consumption is common because it helps relaxation of our neck muscles. Nasal problems, deviated septum for example is important also. Another common cause of sleeping sounds is sleep apnea. Main characteristic of sleep apnea is breathing repeatedly stops and starts during sleeping. So you may notice that some people sleep snoring, then they stop sleeping and stop breathing abruptly and after some time they continue breathing. That sleep apnea. Sleep apnea uh, is two types obstructive sleep apnea and central sleep apnea. Obstructive is more common. Obstructive sleep apnea occurs in 25% of cases of population and central sleep apnea occurs in less than 5% of world's population. Now let's explain what is obstructive sleep apnea and what is central sleep apnea. Obstructive sleep apnea looks like uh, snoring very much throat muscles is collapsed and relaxed too much and we get stop airflow uh, for some time of course and uh, breathing is repeatedly stops and starts and central sleep apnea brain not sending proper signals to the muscles to breathe that's a problem so in case of central sleep apnea brain signals is stop it occurs especially during stroke. Risk factors for uh, obstructive sleep apnea is obesity, anatomical abnormalities, muscle weakness, alcohol consumption, sedative consumption, uh, certain medications such as tranquilizers and antihistamines. They are important. Obstructive sleep apnea usually more serious than snoring and it is associated with heart problems and it also affects human health and even lifespan of person. Treatment for both snoring and obstructive sleep apnea treatment is weight loss, reduce alcohol consumption, reduce tobacco smoking, sleep on your side, nasals, using nasal strips, surgery if needed, also mechanical uh, continuous positive airway pressure. Uh, this is device which is used for continuous positive pressure and many cases it's effective for both snoring and obstructive sleep apnea. Other common sleeping sounds include sleep, sleep talking, sleep talking and sleep groaning. What is common, but sleep talking is more common. Sleep talking is more common in children and young adults. It's also more common in men than women. Sleeping talking is usually harmless, but it's disruptive for bed partner because person is talking during sleep and he or her don't realize and don't understand it. 
Sleeping groaning is less common condition. It also more common in men, and sleep groaning, uh, sleep groaning is usually harmless also. And person, uh, person sound sometimes is uh, frightening for sleep partner. So uh, it's important to understand that it's not serious condition and it has no serious underlying cause, but it's harmless. But it can be disruptive, of course. How we manage uh, sleep talking and sleep groaning, uh, we only can help. We cannot do something big. Uh, enough sleep is important. Managing stress is important. Avoid alcohol and sedative consumption is important. And now let's touch night terrors. Night terrors is when usually kids from three to eight years old uh, waking up with screaming, uh, uh, more specifically, then, uh, they don't waking up. They just they uh, they getting up with screaming. Their heartbeat is high, maybe sweating. They have some physiological symptoms, and they are very frightening. And they don't remember about it. If if you will awake them, they will awake, of course. And parents usually. Uh, usually trying to awake kids, but kids don't remember anything at all. That's night terrors. Night terrors is common in children. Um, but nightmares, nightmares is common in adults also. And nightmare is when when you have bad dreams and you remember. Usually person remembers his or her nightmares, but don't remember night terrors. Night terrors can occur in both children and adults, but it's much more common in children. And nightmares is common in both children and adults, but common in adults. Uh, so, uh, um, Night terrors is more in intense. Physical responses like crying, sweating, and ha rapid heartbeat is more common in night terrors. That's all I wanted to say. Uh, thank you for your interest. Thank you for your watching. If you like my videos, please thumbs up. If you like my channel, please subscribe. Thank you very much. Bye for now.